Home to one of the world's most famous universities, Cambridge's historical centre attracts visitors whatever the weather. A prosperous city where traditions are maintained. Cambridge is prosperous because, or in, in part because of the contribution which the EU makes to that prosperity and the EU is interested in Cambridge because it is a magnet for innovative business and for, um, uh, for, high, uh, for uh, high value academic activity. Half of Cambridge's employees work in professional occupations and Britain's first science park is also in the city. The choice available to customers in the market underlines how imports from other European countries are vital for businesses such as Joff Sharman's fruit stall. He's followed his father and grandfather into the trade and fears the importance of the EU referendum isn't fully understood. I don't really think it's sunk into people. I don't think people really understand how big this is. Um, everyone I seem to speak to says, get out, you know, it's costing us a fortune, costing us. But they're not self employed people. For the self employed people, small businessman, I think we've got to stay in. But in nearby Peterborough, many seem to have a different view of the value of EU membership than in Cambridge. These two cities are in the same part of England, but there seems to be contrasting opinions despite being neighbours. Many local people here in Peterborough say they feel neglected, worrying about migration and the impact of that on jobs, housing and public spending on health and education. Peterborough, like many English towns and cities, has areas where migrants have settled. Several long-standing business owners seem skeptical about EU membership and dislike the raft of regulations they say are imposed by Brussels-based bureaucrats. The general feeling is I think the older people, such as myself, want more control. The younger people see Europe as a, as a big business empire. And, and it's not. We're already there. Europe ain't going to cut us off. They ain't going to ostracise us. You know, I, I, can't see, I can't see more benefits to staying in than I can of being out. 54 of the United Kingdom's 65 million people live in England. Because of that, the decision to leave or remain in the European Union is likely to be decided here. That could have a profound influence on the future of Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Yolo Aftavid, TRT World, Peterborough, England.